Good morning. Please all kneel for our daily morning offering. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. God, our Father, I offer you my day, I offer you my prayers, thoughts, words, actions, and sufferings in union with the Sacred Heart of Jesus, who continues to offer himself in the Eucharist for the salvation of the world. May the Holy Spirit who guided Jesus be my guide and my strength today, so that I may witness to your love with Mary, the mother of our Lord and of the Church. I pray especially for the intentions of the Holy Father for this month. We pray for the Church ever faithful to and courageous in preaching the Gospel. May the Church be a community of solidarity, fraternity, and welcome, always living in an atmosphere of synodality. I also offer the intentions of all my relatives, friends, and my personal intentions today. Amen. Horacio Imperata against COVID-19. Merciful and compassionate, Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sea. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsor. Pray for us. Novena prayer to Saint Margaret Mary Alacoc. O Saint Margaret Mary, through you Jesus pours out his abundant graces to all mankind. Help us to put aside our own interests and abandon ourselves entirely and lovingly to the work which the adorable heart of Jesus wants us to do, so that we may, like you, merit his special care and favor us through Jesus' mighty name. Saint Margaret Mary, you to whom the sacred heart of Jesus has manifested his divine treasures, we implore you to obtain all the graces we need from the adorable heart. We ask him with unlimited confidence. May the divine heart grant these requests through your intercession so that he may yet again be glorified and loved through you. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning again, brothers and sisters. Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration. 
Today is Friday of the 28th week in ordinary time, and we celebrate this Mass in honor of our most sacred heart of Jesus. my sisters and brothers. Good morning, Father. Thank God it is uh, the Sacred Heart a Friday once again, the 14th of October, as we continue our eighth day in our Novena of Masses in honor of St. Margaret Mary, as we honor the heart of Jesus. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We also honor St. Calixtus, St. Pope Calixtus today. We will tell you a brief story of him in a while. I would like you to focus on what St. Paul in the last part of the first reading says, the Holy Spirit, which is the first installment of our inheritance. Parang down payment. Ngayon ko lang parang appreciate eh. May down payment sa buhay natin. Ang down payment yung Espiritu Santo. Imagine down payment. Carefully listen to that last line of the first reading. We pause for a few moments, we recall to mind our sins and experience His love and His mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Father, we rejoice in the gifts of love we receive from the heart of your Son, Jesus. Open our hearts to share his life and continue to bless us with his love. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, in Christ we were also chosen, destined in accord with the purpose of the one who accomplishes all things according to the intention of his will, so that we might exist for the praise of his glory, we who first hoped in Christ in him, you also who have heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and have believed in him, were sealed with the promised Holy Spirit, which is the first installment of our inheritance toward redemption as God's possession to the praise of his glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to Thanks God. Thanks be to God. Bless the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed, Blessed the people the Lord, the Lord has, has to chosen be his to own. be his own. Exalt you just in the Lord. Praise from the upright is fitting. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp with a ten string lyre. Chant his praises. Bless the people, people the, Lord the Lord has, has chosen, chosen to, to be, be his, his own. own. For upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right of the kindness of the Lord. The earth is full. 
Bless the people the Lord has chosen, chosen to, to be, be his, his own. own. Bless the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. From heaven, the Lord looks down. He sees all mankind. Bless, Bless the, the people, people the Lord, Lord has chosen to be his own. own. Lord, be upon us who have put our hope in you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Holy Gospel according to you. Glory to you, Lord. At that time, so many people were crowding together that they were trampling one another underfoot. Jesus began to speak first to his disciples, Beware of the leaven, that is, the hypocrisy of the, scri of the Pharisees. There is nothing concealed that will not be revealed, nor secret that will not be made known. Therefore, whatever you say in darkness will be heard in the light. What you have whispered behind closed doors will be proclaimed on the housetops. I tell you, my friends, do not be afraid of those who can kill the body, but after that can do no more. I shall show you whom to fear. Be afraid of the one who after killing has the power to cast into Gehenna. Yes, I tell you, be afraid of that one. Are not five sparrows sold for two small coins? Yet not one of them escaped the notice of God. Even the hairs of your head have been counted. Do not be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning once again. Good morning, Good morning my sisters and brothers. Uh, we thank God for this Friday as we honor the heart of Jesus. We thank God for the beautiful, reassuring first reading. The first reading, as I mentioned towards the last line of the first reading, the last sentence, uh, it says, the Holy Spirit, which is the first installment of our inheritance toward redemption as God's possession. No? The words installment, no? Tapos redemption pa. Redemption of God's possession, no? To praise His glory. So when we say uh, installment, first installment, down payment, ano pa ginagamit na salita sa negosyo, di ba? You use the word earnest money, show money, no? Uh, is to ensure, to ensure that the deal is on. To secure the deal no? and the deal has been secured to us he gives us the holy spirit parang first time na bigyan ng pansin itong sinabi ni san pe ni saint uh, saint paul yes saint paul to as he spoke to the, uh, the Ephesians. No? the first down payment is the holy spirit to ensure our bond to ensure the connection no? so let us not take that for granted sigurado na yan. And then, the, last, the, the next line, towards redemption. Niridim na tayo, di ba? Kung meron kang utang, niridim mo. Kung meron kang sinanla, no? natanggap mo na ulit. No? So, these are business terms, but referring to our soul, referring to our spirit. No? So, we are assured we have the first down payment, plus we have our redemption in Jesus Christ. What assurance do we have? But the gospel speaks to us about do not be afraid of those who can kill the body, 
But after that can do no more. Hanggang dyan lang. Hanggang sa flesh lang. Sabi niya, hanggang flesh lang naman eh. Be afraid of the one who can, after killing, has the power to cast you into hell. With that assurance, the earnest money, we still have to work about it. The down payment, hindi pwedeng sitting pretty na. Kailangan natin punuan, no? punuan. No? In order, but we are fully redeemed. In spite of that, kailangan we are fully redeemed. But just the same, it is a very good reminder for all of us. And then it says, yun nga, no? Uh, but many, many fears paralyze us. But sabi niya, do not fear about that, no? Do not fear about death. Fear hell. Eternity in hell. If there is one thing we should really, really fear about, we should really be fearful of, is the eternity of hell. Parang hindi pa nag-uusapan ng impyerno eh. No? We speak about everything but hell. Parang ne, next time na yan, next time. Remember, the decisions we make will bring you to heaven or hell. Every decision we make. Fear that will paralyze us. Fear or faith in God, no? With the assurance, with the down payment given us, with the redemption given us. And today, Saint, uh, Saint Scalictus, who was murdered, who was uh, martyred, no? uh, see, Calixtus come from a very simple family. He was a slave. He was a slave. E ang slave, talagang alipin. You are me, 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 me ari sa You cannot do anything because you're owned. Imagine that's how bad slavery is. No? Para ka isang bagay na inare. No? Pinagkatiwala sa kanya yung pera ng kanyang amo. In his goodness, yung pera, pinautang niya. No? Pinautang niya sa iba, not for his own, para makatulong sa iba, utang. Ang problema, hindi siya binayaran. Nung hindi siya binayaran, si Calixtus pinakulong. pinakulong. Pero yung mga nagpautang sa kanya, sabi, hindi niya kasalanan. Biktima lang siya. Hindi niya ginamit yung pera para sa sarili niya. So later on, no, he was released. And then later on, he became a free man because of his good works. He was proven to be trustworthy. Then later on, the Pope then, no, uh, Seferinus, the Pope in the, this is the sec, this is the third century poem, the early church. Seferinus made him in charge of the burial grounds of the early Christians. They were catacombs underground. And the biggest of that in Rome is the catacomb in honor of Saint Calixtus. Later on, he became Pope. This, imagine he was a slave, he became a free man, he became katiwala ng mga burial grounds, and then later on became Pope. And the name of the famous underground uh, burial chambers would be the catacombs of St. Calixtus, uh, where there are 16 popes buried there, you know, about half a million remains underground. No? Imagine gano'ng kalaki yun, no? gano'ng kalaki yung catacombs na yan. But uh, uh, we thank God for his, uh, for his inspiration, we thank God for his witnessing as he, mart he was martyred for the faith. As we continue also in our eighth day of our Novena of Masses in honor of St. Margaret Mary, who put the installment very well in her own simple way. She put the down payment very well and assured her because of this devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus, the same installment given us, all of us, maybe make the most out of this installment. Tayo na magpuno, no? Total, we are guaranteed redemption. But we have to do our own share. Thanks to St. Margaret Mary, thanks to St. Calixtus, who help us. Do not fear. Do not fear. But we are assured of that. There is nothing else to fear. Salamat sa Dios. Like most Fridays, I invite you to kneel as we have our perpetual novena to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Divine, Divine Jesus, you have Jesus, said... You have said Ask, and you shall receive. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. Behold us kneeling at your feet, 
filled with a lively faith and confidence in the promises dictated by your sacred heart and pronounced by your adorable lips, we come to ask this favor. To whom can we turn if not to you, whose heart is the source of all graces and merits, where should we seek if not in the treasure, which contains all the riches of your kindness and mercy? Where must we knock if not at the door, through which God gives himself to us, and through which we go to God? We have recourse to you, heart of Jesus. In you we find consolation when afflicted, protection when persecuted, strength when burdened with trials, and light in doubt and darkness. Dear Jesus, we firmly believe that you can grant us the grace we implore. Even though it should require a miracle, you have only to will it, and our prayers will be granted. We admit that we are most unworthy of your favors, but this is not a reason for us to be discouraged. You are the God of mercy, and you will not refuse a contrite heart. Cast upon us a look of mercy, we beg of you, and your kind heart will find in our miseries and weaknesses a reason for granting our prayers. O sacred heart, whatever may be your decision with regard to our request, we will never stop adoring, loving, praising, and serving you. Lord Jesus, be pleased to accept this, our act of perfect resignation, to the decrees of your adorable heart, which we sincerely desire may be fulfilled in and by us and all your creatures forever. Sacred heart of Jesus, we know that there is but one thing impossible to you, to be without pity for those who are suffering or in distress. Look upon us, we beg of you, dear Jesus, and grant us the grace for which we humbly implore you, through the Immaculate Heart of your most sorrowful mother, you have entrusted us to her as her children, and her prayers are all powerful with you. Amen. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, the goodness of this bread to offer, which it is given human hands have made to become our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. May this meaning of water and wine help us to share the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, the goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from all my sins. We pray, my sisters and brothers, that this sacrifice in yours be made acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, O Lord, we pray on the surpassing charity in the heart of your beloved Son, that what we offer may a gift acceptable to you in an expiation of our offenses through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, our Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For lifted high on the cross, Christ gave his life for us, so much did he love us. From his wounded side flowed blood and water, the sacramental, the fountain of sacramental life in the church. To his open heart, the Savior invites all to draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. With the angels and saints, we praise you forever. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall. They may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. But remember your church spread throughout the world, bring her to the fullness of charity. To Gabriel Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have gone ahead of us, those who we pray for, those buried in our columbarium here, those who died of suicide, those who died in Ukraine, and all who have gone to the rest in the hope of rising again. Bring them and all departed into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and your saints, Calixtus, Margaret Mary, and all who have pleased you throughout the ages, may we merit to be co-heirs of eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. My sisters and brothers, we dare call God our Father with the words Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us. us. Lead us yes. not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, gracious to grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, may we always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to the apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant peace and unity according to your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the peace of Christ. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the God of love, who heals and forgives. Humbled and blessed are we who are called to receive you. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body and the blood of Christ. Amen. We will, re act. We will receive communion by rose. Please remain seated and wait for the others to guide you to the communion line. Thank you. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. i 
Let us pray. Lord, we have received your sacrament of love by becoming more like Christ on earth. May we share his glory in heaven where he lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. We have some announcements. Please be seated for a while. Heart Cares now has an additional cell phone number as we extend our service 24 by 7. 24 hours, seven days a week. Complete details of contact numbers are shown on the screen and posted on the bulletin board. Novena of Masses in honor of St. Margaret Mary Alacoc, Apostle of the Sacred Heart, will continue until tomorrow, October, October 15, in preparation for her feast day on October 16. Finally, there will be imposition of Sacred Heart is scapulars after the 12.15 PMS. Those interested may please register at the parish office. Thank you for your attention. Uh, please do not stand first. Um, the noontime masses, which normally is not online, will be online today and tomorrow in honor of the eighth and the ninth day of our novena of masses in honor of St. Margaret Mary. So for those who are online, you may want to do so. And mamaya nga may imposition of the scapular no? uh, later in the 12.15 Mass, uh, presided over by the AP National Director, Father Vic De Jesus, a uh, Jesuit. That is later. Tomorrow, Father Baj Orara will say the noontime Mass. No? Yesterday, we received our assignments. Some of you might know we received our new assignments. We have a new parish priest here you know, in about a month's time, more or less. Father Eric Castro will be the new parish priest and rector. Um, he used to come from Guadalupe, you know, the shrine of Our Lady of Guadalupe. He also in Makati, so he will move here perhaps next month. I will be transferred across Osmeña, which is uh, St. Anthony in Singalong, no? Singalong, no? That, that will be my new assignment. Yeah. Thank you very much. It's been more than 15 years here no? with the heart of Jesus. The heart of Jesus continues to burn brightly, whatever that assignment w would be. No? So thank you very much for this. I'll be here. I'll be around for perhaps another, uh, a few more weeks, for another month perhaps, till we move. Paglipat namin, ano eh, uh, Parang simbang gabi na, na in preparation for simbang gabi. That is the first time in the history that we will have a general reshuffling. No? In the past, there were partial reshuffling, but only now it was a general reshuffling yesterday. So it was a very exciting day yesterday. Salamat sa Diyos. Muli, salamat no? for the, my first of the pasasalamats at paumanhin sa mga tao na nasaktan, nahirapan, na pagalitan, no? pasensya na. But uh, salamat sa Diyos. May we all stand. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go with God's love and God's mercy. Thanks be to God. Say